morning and happy Friday, everyone. Oh my goodness. So we have another fun fold for you today. Um, in today's video, I am going to show you how to make a Mother's Day card with a flip out fun fold, okay? I'm also not going to be using an image stamp. I'm gonna use a sentiment stamp, but no images. And um, I'm gonna show you how beautiful this card can be with just some punches and designer paper. All right, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to bring you a card tutorial here on my Facebook page. And uh, I see we have Kim in the house. Good morning, Kim. All right. Um, before we get started, though, real quick, um, let me switch over. There we go. I want to remind you all that the Handsomely Suited card class, this Sunday is the last day to sign up for that. So just go, go over to my blog and... Um, there we go, there's my blog my blog page there and drop down classes and you'll see the handsomely suited card class there for you. All right, and also don't forget that um, the host code right here. Whenever you spend $50 or more, this is April's host code, I will send you a gift at the end of the month to say thank you and good morning, Dorothy, how are you? All right, let's get on to making this card. I am using... Um, I am not using a stamped image. What I'm going to use is some designer paper, and I'm using the Hydrangea Hill. This is beautiful. Now, I only have this little bit left. Um, I loved it. I love this piece because you can cut this and just use that right there, and you wouldn't need a stamped image there. You just need a sentiment, and you're done. Um, but it really does have beautiful florals. And that's it. That's all I've got. <laughs> there's a, there's 12 pages, uh, uh, each side, uh, two of each double-sided uh, paper, and it's just gorgeous paper. But anyways, so that's the paper I'm using. And I'm also using some punches. So I'm using the Small Blooms punch again. And remember, this is retiring. This will no longer be available after May 3rd. I'm using the Leaf Punch and the Sprig Punch, okay? So I'm going to use all of that to create a beautiful Mother's Day card. Now, the first step is using the uh, making the card bases, okay? And my card stock, if you'll see, it matches perfectly. I love how Stampin' Up! all the colors match perfectly with the designer paper. So this is our new in-color... Um, Oh, what is it called again? Yeah, Misty Moonlight. This is Misty Moonlight. Now, they've done different shades of Misty Moonlight, and this is the Misty Moonlight paper. And this piece is going to go right here. Now, this card base it measures... Oh, let me put up my measurements for you guys. Here we go. The card base measures at four and a quarter by eight and three quarters, and then it's scored at five and a half. Then I have another layer. This is a colored cardstock layer. This is our gorgeous grape, and that's going to go right there, and it measures at three and a quarter by four and a half. Now, we have a second base, okay, this base card, and this measures at three inches by eight and a half inches, and it's scored at the four and a quarter, and that goes right there, okay? And see, this is how it flips out. So this is called a flip out card, isn't that cool? All right, we also have a piece of designer paper for the top of this card base here, this part, okay? And then we also have a white piece. And this white piece and this designer paper, they're both the same. They are two and three quarters by four inches. And this designer piece here, this is a three by four here. All right, now don't worry, all these measurements will be over on my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. Um, I'm going to take them away from the board right now, though. And of course, if you're watching on the replay, you can just pause and go back and look at it. All right, the first step to our card making is we are going to attach this layer to this card base. So, and I'm just using a tape runner. There we go. And we're just going to center that in there just like so. Okay. Now we've got that in there. And now we want the cover here, this uh, designer paper here. 
And these are big, beautiful hydrangea blooms. Oh my gosh, this designer paper really is beautiful. Like I said, I just don't hardly have any of it left. It does discontinue uh, at the end of June. So you can still get this paper through June. It's in our spring mini catalog. All right, so there we go. We've got that part made so far. Next part is the second base. All right, and I'm gonna pull that out of the way and we're gonna work with this for a minute. So the first piece here, this designer paper, and you can see it's just the back of the hydrangea bloom paper. Okay, and that is just gonna center right there. Now, whoops, oh, I didn't quite get it centered. There we go. Well, I'm still having trouble centering it. Okay, you guys, <laughs> give, me, give me a minute here. It's early Friday morning. There we go, I think that's it. Oh, okay, it's good enough. It's not quite centered right there, but it'll do. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna decorate the front of this and we're gonna make a beautiful Mother's Day card. Now, the only stamp set I'm using today is the strong and beautiful stamp set that has Happy Mother's Day right there. And I just, I love that. I just love all these sayings. And I'm I'm sad to see this go, but it will be retiring on May 3rd. <clears throat> so I'm trying to use it up as much as I can with you guys so you all can see how awesome it is. Oh, wait a minute, let's do the stamping first. So I'm getting out my gorgeous grape ink. And like I said, this is the best part about Stampin' Up. Everything matches. You don't have to like try to figure out which purple you need or which green you need. It just tells you in the uh, designer paper, it tells you the colors that are in the designer paper. And then you just go pull that ink and that cardstock and you're ready to go. Okay, there we go. Happy Mother's Day. And then we're just going to stick this onto the front here. Whoops, let's do it correctly. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Now. I'm going to take all these blooms and all these uh, sprigs and leaves here and create a beautiful front to our Mother's Day card. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some leaves here and some sprigs, all right, and we're going to put those in the back here, all right, so we're going to. Um, also, I found when I was making this card the other day that you do not want to go over the edge here because it opens up and you don't want anything blocking the hinge there. Okay, so we're just going to put that one there. Oh, and I found it was easier to do this with glue dots. So let me pull out some glue dots here. And all I'm doing is sticking a few glue dots on. Whoops. Okay, we're having. We are having difficulties this morning. Everything's sticking to me. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, that one is all messed up. Okay, we'll just throw that one away. All right, here we go. And we have a glue dot here and here. All right, that should stick really well and just pop off those tops. Now, if you're wondering where these glue dots come from, these are leftover glue dots from my paper pumpkin kits. Um, we have a monthly subscription kit called the Paper Pumpkin, and it always comes with a sheet of glue dots. Now we also sell glue dots on a roll, on a on a on a roll of paper, and those are uh, nice to use also. But since I have so many of these sheets, I like to try to use them up. Now this one, uh, this stem here is too long, so I'm going to trim that off. There we go, and get a couple of glue dots, and these are going to go up on the top of the sentiment paper. Okay, so there we go, there we go. All right, how we doing? Getting in there, all right. Now, this is gonna take a minute, so. If you're watching the replay, you could probably fast forward to, um, fast forward to the uh, me doing all of these uh, glue dots on these pieces here. <laughs> But um, anyways, so I'm going to put this here. We're going to do another one just like that first one. Oops. And notice how I'm using white for my sprigs. Um, 
it's just a, a fun alternative to using green. We have I I used the mossy meadow green, which is the dark part here on the card I made before. I've also used vellum. Um, that's a fun alternative to using green. All right, and you can see how I lifted that one up over the edge, so to give it a little interest there. All right, we've got some more leaves here. Let's do uh, trimming these off here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two blooms right here. All right, so this this one's going to go over here, and my blooms are going to be the color of the hydrangeas. So I have Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and Misty Moonlight for my blooms. So it will match that designer paper. Okay, so we'll put this one. Let's see. Let's, so we're going to put a bloom there and a bloom there. I want to make sure it, <clears throat> okay, so two blooms here, and we're going to put our blooms up on dimensionals, and these are my mini dimensionals. I like how little they are, so they don't show. The large dimensionals do fit in the bloom, but you can see the edge on the side. You can see, if you look at the side of the card, you can see the dimensional. So I like to, um, let's see, let's pull that over there. There we go. And then this one here. Now we do have black dimensionals, and that would solve that problem. Um, you wouldn't see very much with black. <clears throat> dimensionals under there, but if you can see how I turn it to the side, you can just barely see that dimensional under there. Okay, I just like that. Okay, so far so good. Um, and we're going to put one more down here, but we're going to do this one in misty moonlight. All right, so we're going to put this bloom here, and we need some leaves. So let me trim these leaves off, and we need a sprig. All right, so let me move the bloom, and... So this is what I was talking about. I did not use a stamped image. Now I could have, you know, stamped the Hydrangea Hill stamps, but to be honest, I don't even own that stamp set. My friend Francine does, and I borrow it from her sometimes, but um, but I don't know. I can't. I wish I could afford everything in the catalog. <laughs> But I can't, so I have to decide. But I just love this paper. I do own all the paper. I just have to have the paper. And speaking of paper, um, I'm going to do a paper share at the end of April on the 21st. So be watching your newsletter on the 21st. Um, I'll be sending out an announcement. And if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, um, just go to my blog, creatingwithchristina.com, and there's a pop-up uh window that comes to subscribe to it, or there's a link, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link um, here down the, in the bottom of the description there. <clears throat> okay, one more thing, I gotta put these, these leaves on, I almost forgot, I was talking so much. Are you guys like that? You can't, <laughs> it's like talk and create at the same time. All right, there we go, got that. Oh, that is just looking so pretty. I love it. All right, and last but not least, the little bloom here. Okay, and I don't want to cover up Mother's Day, so there. All right, it, it's really pretty this way, but it just needs a little something else. What do you guys guess? dun da da dun Bling! <laughs> and I love our opal rounds. They are so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Whoops. Come here. There we go, and that makes all the difference in the world, just putting a little center to our beautiful flowers here. All right, and there we have that part. All right, let's go back to finishing up the card. So we have our base here, and we have this here, and we just need, whoops, okay. <laughs> these backings are everywhere, oh my gosh. Now I am gonna put this on with liquid glue because it's a little heavy with that front decorating on there. So we'll just put a little glue on there and that way it'll be sure to stay stuck. Okay, and this just centers on this gorgeous great piece. And also glue helps you move it around a little before it sticks. All right, there we go. Okay. One more piece. This is the inside so you can sign your card. 
or put another sentiment in here. Mm -hmm. And we are finished. Whoops, it goes like that. <laughs> and this is called a flip out card. So it flips out like that. Isn't that fun? I love this flip. All right, so that was this Friday's Fun Fold. And like I said, all the instructions will be over on my blog. Okay, so look for today's blog post later today. Um, and also don't forget the handsome, handsomely suited card class. The last day to sign up for this is Sunday, okay? Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's card and that you'll be back with me on Monday for another card. I'm going to be featuring new product, um, not new, I'm sorry. I'm going to be featuring some more product that's retiring other than this. This week I focused on Strong and Beautiful and the floor, the Small Blooms Punch. I'm going to focus on some, some other of my favorite pieces that are retiring. All right. Did I have any questions? Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Mima. I know that you had... Um, what I understand, uh, you're just, uh, we've got to be praying for you, um, her heart and breathing and everything. And y'all just lift up prayers for me, Ma. And oh, Deborah says, I knew you'd choose the opals. <laughs> um, me, Ma says, is there a punch in the catalog for the leaves? As I've not seen it. I bought the sprig punch. Yes, um, it should be in there. Um, let me see, Mima. Let me double check the catalog. Where did I put it? Here it is. Um, do you have this catalog, Mima? This is the big annual catalog. And our punches, see, yeah, I labeled them right here. So, whoops. Well, oh my. Have I, did they retire that? Oh my gosh, Mima. It's gone. I didn't even know. I thought we still had it. Isn't that crazy? I am so sorry, you guys. I've been using a punch that's not available anymore. I'm sad. Okay, Mima. Thanks for asking that question. Now, now I know. I'm in that. Ah, that's not good. Um, mm, okay, you guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about that situation. All right. Okay, that's all the questions we had. You guys have been awesome. Look at me, only 17 minutes this morning, pretty good. One more time, let me show you the card. So it's just a little flip out, and there you go. All right, <laughs> bye you guys.